So every third or fourth night, I will take two grams of glycine and 100 milligrams of GABA in addition to the standard sleep stack that I talked about before. So I'm taking MAG3 and 8, apigenin and theanine, and then I will also take two grams of glycine and GABA, which I find greatly enhances my ability to get into sleep. But the reason I only add glycine and GABA every third or fourth night is that if I take it too often, I find that the entire sleep stack doesn't work quite as effectively. I don't know exactly why this is the case, but in any event, that's what I do. And more recently, I've also started using inositol, in particular myo-inositol, every other night. I'll take 900 milligrams of myo-inositol in addition to MAG3 and 8, apigenin and theanine, and not on the nights when I take glycine and GABA. So I'm adding 900 milligrams of inositol to the standard sleep stack of MAG3 and 8, theanine and apigenin. And what I find is not only does it greatly enhance my ability to fall asleep quickly, but if I wake up in the middle of the night, which I often do, to use the bathroom, I find it very, very easy to fall back asleep. Whereas when I don't take an inositol every other night or so, I find that if I wake up in the middle of the night, it's a bit more of a challenge to fall back asleep. So inositol has a number of different uses that have been discussed in terms of mental health and in terms of adjusting anxiety for its daytime use. What I'm talking about is taking 900 milligrams of myo-inositol also 30 to 60 minutes before sleep along with the standard sleep stack. And I found that to be immensely beneficial. I also noticed that it has a pretty long tail of anxiety suppression throughout the day. And I'm not somebody who suffers from anxiety, but I have to say it just has led me to feel a bit calmer throughout the day. And I don't really know how to say this except in subjective terms to feel a bit more um, buffered against or resilient against stress events. And if you look at the literature on inositol and its interactions with the serotonin system and other systems, it, that all makes sense as to why that would be the case.